Simone Biles overcomes injury to dominate Olympic qualifiers. Paris, France, gymnastics superstar Simone Biles showed incredible resilience after appearing to injure her leg during a warm-up at the 2024 Olympic Games. Despite the setback, she not only completed her routines but also secured the top spot in the qualifying round. Biles's coach, Cecile Landy, downplayed the injury as a minor calf issue. However, the sight of Biles leaving the mat in discomfort during the floor exercise warm-up caused immediate concern. After receiving treatment, including taping her ankle and calf, she returned to competition and delivered a dominant performance. The American team, led by Biles, qualified for the team all-around final, where they are heavy favorites for gold. Biles herself is considered a strong contender for multiple individual gold medals. While the injury raised eyebrows, Landy insists there are no concerns about Biles' ability to compete in the upcoming events. However, the team's focus remains on her physical well-being. Biles' return to competition last year has been marked by extraordinary success. Her performance on Sunday, despite the injury, further solidified her status as the face of gymnastics. The U.S. women's team finished atop the qualifying leaderboard, with teammates Jordan Chiles and Sunisa Lee following closely behind Biles. As the competition progresses, the world will be watching to see if Biles can continue her dominance and overcome any lingering effects of the injury. It is important to point out, though, that it isn't only her goal, it's also her dad's. Chiles' father, Sylvester Jones, inspired her to train even harder for Paris. Should she win the gold, it wouldn't just be for me and my team, but also for my dad, she said. Those who followed her story knew that her dad was the one who was in the gymnastics gym day in and day out. Like many world-class athletes, Chilise showed talent at an early age. During a December 2023 interview with E! News, the gymnast spoke openly about her parents' impact on her life and career. In fact, she credits her career to her parents, Sylvester Jones Jr. and Latrice Bryant, who noticed her just flipping around the house when she was just four years old. Her parents put her in a gym to show off her skills, although she recalled that it took a while for lessons to pay off because she was a bit of a slow learner. I actually was horrible at the compulsory levels, she admitted. I lost everything and wasn't really paying attention. Speaking of losing something, 2021 hadn't been the greatest of years for Jones. She had her accident in the first month of the year and lost her father, one of her staunchest supporters, just before the year came to an end. It goes without saying that the young gymnast had to bear the loss of her father's demise after his long battle with kidney disease. But before he succumbed to his illness, her father nudged her in the right direction. Long story short, she persevered and trained hard to get closer to her and her dad's dream. Apparently, it worked, since months before the Paris Olympics, Chalice is one of the frontrunners to claim a coveted spot on Team USA's Olympic squad. Behind Biles, Jones seems closest to locking down a spot for Paris 2024. The 21-year-old has developed into a star and won the all-around bronze at the 2023 World Championships in Antwerp. Like Biles, she has a well-balanced game and would be strong for Team USA across all four disciplines. Talking about the possibility of competing in the 2024 Olympic Games, Shy, as she's fondly called, revealed that it's not just the allure of bringing home a gold medal that drives her. She aims to make her father proud. It wouldn't just be for me and my team, but also for my dad, she admitted. Going out there and really being on the Olympic stage of Paris would probably be the best, Chalice acknowledged. I've worked my whole career to get where I'm at today. Sadly, though, she may not be able to step onto the Olympic stage for the second time around. What a loss, too, since Jones finished top four across each discipline at the Core Hydration Classic in mid-May. At Hartford's XL Center, the 2023 World All-Around Bronze Medalist gave Biles a run for her money with a first-place performance on uneven bars. She competed and hit an upgraded skill, the layout Jaeger, for the first time, and Jones was the only athlete in the competition to receive a score above 15 on the uneven bars with a 15.250. It definitely boosted my confidence, for sure, Jones said. 
This is a brand new bar routine for me, so presenting it and hitting it clean like I was capable of doing in practice. I felt so many emotions going on. Hitting it tonight just felt great. On the vault, she had the next highest scoring vault in the competition with a 14.350 and finished the all around with a score of 57.650. That allowed her to finish second, just under two points behind Viles, but more than two points ahead of third place finisher, Jordan Chilas. That's great news, which was unfortunately closely followed by disappointing news two weeks later. Just a few hours before the first day of women's competition at the 2024 Xfinity U.S. Gymnastics Championships was set to begin in Fort Worth, Texas. The two-time U.S. national all-around silver medalist withdrew from the event. She cited a mild shoulder injury as the reason behind the withdrawal. In a statement, which she also posted on her Instagram, she wrote, Unfortunately, I won't be participating in the Xfinity Championships this year. With Paris as my ultimate focus, it's best for me to prioritize recovery and resting my shoulder this weekend. She explained that she and her medical team are confident this is the right decision to ensure that she is at full strength for trials. The 21-year-old told reporters prior to the competition that an old shoulder injury had suddenly flared up following the US Classic. Right after I got off the floor, I didn't hear a click, I didn't hear any pops, nothing major, I was just like, oh, my shoulder's a little sore. And then I was like, no, it's really sore, Jones explained. A few days later, she could barely raise her arm. Although Jones initially intended to push through in Fort Worth, she plans to rest as much as possible ahead of the Olympic trials. Despite the injury, she remains focused on her ultimate goal, the Paris Games. No matter what happens, I'm still going to put on a show. I'm still going to be as 100% as I can she declared. Jones said she intends to file a petition with USA Gymnastics to compete at the Olympic trials later this month. Some believe that it's all but certain USA Gymnastics will accept it since Shy meets the criteria, both having been a member of the 2022 and 2023 World Championship teams and having done at least two events in the US Classic in May. If her petition is indeed accepted, she will be joined by the top two finishers in the all-around competition in the U.S. Championships, who gain an automatic berth to Olympic trials. The remainder of the Olympic trials field will be determined by a selection committee after the second day of competition. Watch this to see who aims to earn a spot at the trials as well.